is back with another video and uh today pierre poliev i think it was actually yesterday where pierre poliev put out another uh hit piece out on jagmeet singh it's just a very 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 quick video but let's have a look at it and then we'll talk about it after like usual jagmeet singh is used to getting what he wants he went to a high-priced american private school in beverly hills rolex watches bmws versace bag but now he's got a problem he needs to delay the election till next year when he qualifies for his two million dollar pension. So he sold you out, signed on with Trudeau to raise taxes, crime, and housing costs. Sell out Singh. He gets his pension. You pay the price. Yeah, and uh, again, I, I know I know that was very quick, but you know he got his point across pretty quickly, right? I mean. Um, and that's we've been saying this for a while now. You know, this guy's not in it for Canada. He's not in it for Canadians. Jagmeet Singh is in it for himself. He knows he's got to wait until January to get his pension. And then once he does get his pension, oddly enough, that's when the interest rates of the housing market will go up and up and up. If you bought a mortgage during COVID or a house during COVID, your interest rates on your on your mortgage is going up. Well, that's going to hurt a lot of people. People are already struggling. So how many people are going to foreclose on their mortgage or on their house and default on their mortgage? Those people who are going to have to go through that, those who are voting for Trudeau or supporting Trudeau now likely won't. And considering that Jagmeet Singh is propping up Trudeau, keeping him in power, keeping him in office, why would anyone go over to the NDPs? They're basically the same party. Both left wing, uh, left wing, far left wing. One's a commie wannabe. One's a socialist wannabe. Rolex watch wearing Jugmeet Singh. Like I said, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Never, ever, ever trust a socialist who wears a gold Rolex. And walks around with like the nicest suits and Gucci bags, stretch limo, $600,000 last year in expenses for our, using our taxpayer money. And he's not even the official opposition, let, never mind the prime minister. Why do he spend so much? Because he's in it for you, Canada. Please. If you believe that, I, I got some gold in my backyard. You can come dig it up for a very expensive fee. If that's what you really believe, yeah, come see me. It's just unbelievable. And But hey, I mean, Jugmeet Singh's numbers are doing really bad. A lot of people thought that when Trudeau started to, to uh, fall a bit, that the NDP would rise. But it's actually the conservatives, because people in this country, even in Canada, a very, very, very liberal country, People are getting sick of the liberals, so they're going to the conservatives. They're not going over to the socialist wannabe side. They're going over the conservatives. Not saying it's the best option, but it is the best option to get rid of Trudeau and have at least just, some, just something different. I mean, people are just so sick of him. We'll see what Pierre Polyev does, but you know, if he keeps saying things like this and then gets into office and then actually follows through on his promises, then that'd be great. Either way, it's just kind of funny that they just keep just hammering this guy over and over again with the same things. And it, it, Jugmeet Singh has no defense of this. So it's perfect. Just keep hammering the point. It's just only going to hurt them, right? And even if they do find a way to like form one party or merge or whatever they're going to do, which I don't think they're going to, but if they ever did find a way to do that, well, Jugmeet's not going to be very much of a help, is he? Can't even hit 20% support. So, I mean, <clears throat> we'll have to see, right? So, you know, I... I <laughs> It would be kind of funny to actually see Jagmeet Singh actually take over Trudeau's position and be the official opposition to Pierre Polyev because those back and forth would be funny. But Jagmeet Singh just is not popular enough. And he, he just he's a fraud. He's a phony. He's a socialist and he's a fake. And obviously no one trusts him and they shouldn't unless you live in Hamilton or B.C. But how's that going or Toronto? How's that going? You like the crime? You like how expensive it is? You like the tent cities? You like the needles everywhere? Keep voting NDP then. Otherwise, vote common sense. Vote for Pierre Polyev. Or anyone that's not on the left, really. Because we're sick and tired of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Pierre Polyev is doing the right thing by continuing to hammer Jugmeet Singh? Do you think he should keep going? Or do you think he should back off and take it easy on poor old Jugmeet? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with another video.